Hi everybody, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to dive into, um, yeah, one of those things I just didn't know that I wanted to have. Um, I am talking about the very interesting collab of Elf and Chipotle. Yes, Elf and Chipotle came out with a palette if you have not seen or have not heard of it. And they basically took the color story from ingredients to make burritos and bowls and all that sort of stuff. I am not a huge Chipotle person. This was more me just wondering how on earth would this work? Will this work? What have you, what not? And um, I have made a couple of looks with this thus far. Some of the shimmers in here do feel a little flaky. There are two shimmers though that I find really pretty kind of slightly in a duochrome sense. Um, this one on the bottom right corner is a really pretty, I think this is like a bean. I forget what all the names of the shades are because it's not on the back of the palette and it was kind of like this wrapped plastic. Um, but these are all named after actual like ingredients. I forget if this is whatever, green salsa or lettuce or whatever it is, those are the actual names of the shades. Now this shade is really pretty. I'm not sure if it will pick up on the difference, but it goes from like a beautiful plummy to kind of a really nice green undertone, which is what we're gonna play with today. I did a different day, I can throw up the picture. I'll look just kind of using a little bit of these browns and this purple shade across the lid, really pretty easy kind of mauvey, mauvey look. And then um, earlier today, I actually just used this more warm toned brown because you really just have these two mattes um, that are brown neutral. Then you have this green matte here. And then this orange down here is pretty much a matte. It's got some shimmer in there, but if you use it as a matte, tap off your brush, you're not really gonna see a whole lot of that shimmer. Um, so today I went in and used this warmer uh, toned uh, brown shade along with kind of a little bit of these shades and they have both of which I f it would be interesting to see what I wonder if these are like the different corn salsas they have or something because there are little like speckles within here which I'm not sure the, the two on the side over here are much more of like a satin sort of uh, finish. These are definitely a bit more sparkly, but they have a, a bit of a flakiness to them. I definitely saw a little bit of fallout. Sorry if there was shake there, but they are not the most intensely pigmented. Now, I was going for looks that were a bit more daytime. I had Zoom calls and that sort of thing, so I didn't want to look crazy, but I am tonight going to dig into these greens and definitely this really pretty purple, and we are going to really see how much she can kick and perform. Um, but I am pleasantly surprised. I think there is actually a quite lot, a quite a lot that you can do with this palette. This palette is $16. I bought it off of Elf's website. And um, yeah, I, I am pleasantly pretty happy with it, but I'm excited to kind of just play around with these greens and see what we can make from that today. Um, I also will throw up here a little picture of swatches and you'll just see there is actually a pretty nice variety here. Like all these colors together, I don't mind it. Um, the darkest brown shade we will also be using because it really does have a bit of like a plummy undertone. It's a definitely more rich, deep purple uh, comparatively to the other one. And it does make you kind of think, I, I haven't looked at the palette like this before, but maybe perhaps we have quads here. You know, you could do something with that, something with kind of this middle chunk and then this edge for like a real bright fiery look. So I guess I haven't really looked at it that way, but you could definitely, I think, do looks in that scheme if you wanted to. But let's dive in and do some fun with this green. I'm really ready to just have a good green purple moment. Um, and yeah, see, see where she goes. Of course, I'm going to start off with my Milani eyeshadow primer. I will always use a primer. I think it is beneficial. All right, so I think the first step, I am going to go in and kind of create a green um, transition area within the front portion of my eye using a really small little fluffy brush. This is a Morphe brush. I'm not exactly sure the type um, or the number of it as it came in a set, but I'm just gonna tap into this lovely matte green and just kind of place it within this first, probably 
maybe even two thirds portion of my eye, I think will build up the other outer portion with that deeper um, dark brown color. I think I'm also going to take some more of the green and kind of build up on this outer corner a bit. I think it will help to kind of create a more seamless look. So let's build a little bit of green out here as well. take something a little bit fluffier of a brush a little wider just so I can get a really nice easy blend on this outer portion. Perhaps maybe add a little shadow but just trying to kind of blend out those green edges. All right now we are going to go in with our deep uh, dark brown more plum kind of looking shade and really place that in our natural crease, whatever that may be for you, right where you kind of can put in your brush, wiggle it around right into the socket of the eye and just bring in some of that pretty kind of purpley brown. And I'm also going to try to kind of continue a shape that's not super round, but bring it up just a little bit so we have a little bit of height at the edge of our eye. Now that there's a lot of that kind of muddiness in the outside, I certainly don't mind it, but I'm gonna go back in and add a little bit more of the green just so that it peeks out and kind of pops along the edges a little more. Now we've got that really lovely kind of dirty smokiness. I kind of wanna see a little bit of shimmer there. So I'm gonna go into just this lightest kind of pearl shade that we have and pop that right under the brow because I just want Maybe it was a bit more than what I needed, but I just want to see that highlight come through. And then I think we'll also go back into the green and kind of help blend those two together, the green map. Now I definitely want to go in on a wet brush and see how this kind of purpley shimmer performs. Just because I'm really hoping it's going to give me a lot of punch once we actually wet our brush. Even if it doesn't, it's still a pretty shade. But I also think that will help with a bit of the kind of like shimmer fallout that it has. It does make me wonder, maybe I should find my glitter glue. Let's see if I've got that. Perhaps, let's try the glitter glue first and put that on kind of the outer edges of the eye. Because I'm going to try to focus this pretty kind of shimmery purpley green on this outer portion kind of overlapping where we've put a bit of the depth and then bringing it in to the front a bit as well. So just tapping on, this is just some of the NYX glitter primer, which has a nice amount of tack. Definitely is enough so that you're, you feel it when your lid's closed. Now I'm gonna go in just on a dry brush pick up a good amount of that shimmer and let's just see how that fares over the glitter primer. Super pretty. And it's so fun being able to see the purple hit. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, but I can definitely tell in different lighting more of a purple tinge compared to the green. I'm gonna go over a bit more, but then we're going to pop in this lighter green on the front portion, the light green kind of shimmer to really bring out a bit more of the green. I think also though, having that pretty dark um, brown on the edge really helps to pick up on the purple. It really looks very, very purple. Hopefully <laughs> you'll be able to see that. Um, but now I'm going to tap into kind of the lighter green shimmer and we're gonna put that more on this inner portion. Now that light green has a bit more of a yellow tinge than what I maybe wanted or was hoping for. So I'm gonna go back in to the purple and tap over it, which will help to kind of just blend them together, but hopefully give me a bit more of the, the purple kind of shimmer that I like and the green within that purple that I like. Still super cool looking beautiful purpley green eye. I am, I'm digging that, that is nice. 
So I'm going to throw on the rest of my face and then we will come back to the lower lash line. I think we're going to pop a purple in that inner rim because that will really help set off that pretty plum. But you know, the purple really in here shocks me. When you look at this, you don't really see purpley, but I, I, I got purple vibes here. Purple vibes. All right, so I have majority of my face on. I probably will change my lip to be a bit more nude, um, but I just wanted to put some lifter gloss on just because they were feeling a little dry. Now, I have a couple of purple pencils. I have one that's a bit more pastel and then one that's a little bit more bright. Um, I'm not sure, I feel like I kind of might have to mix the two of them to get something that I like. I'm gonna start with the darker one though and put that in the inner rim. I don't need to do anything else. This purple is perfect. This is the neon eyeliner, the Shockwave from LA Girl. And the purple, this one is called Vivid. Just stunning, love these so much. I have a whole video dedicated to them if you are interested in getting some nice colorful liners for yourself. Now, for the lower lash line, I don't wanna do anything too crazy because a lot of our, you know, Bigness is on top, um, but I do want to kind of smudge down on the lower lash line just a little bit and kind of connect everything together. So I'm going to take a little bit of our dark kind of brown shade and kind of smudge out our edge just a hair, just that outer corner, maybe go in about a half. Now more for that inner portion, I'm going to go into our shimmery shade and kind of highlight this first inner third area underneath. Now in the innermost corner, I feel like I kind of want to go for our light green shade, our shimmer shade and put that more in the inner corner and then probably top it off with our other purpley green shimmer. Oh, so pretty. I love it. This is so, so pretty, so fun. I do think though, the very stark kind of white is not my favorite at the highlight. Um, so I'm gonna go in and just add overlay a bit of the sparkly green to hopefully, or the shimmery green to hopefully kind of tone it down to not be such a stark kind of white. I think I went in a little too hard with that really pearly shade. Um, and it's just a little too white for what I'm looking for. And I think adding the green shimmer on top kind of helped to diminish that just enough so that it isn't as vibrantly white. So I'm going to pop on some mascara, I think change my lip to be a bit more nude and we will close it on out. Well, I just tried like 25 lip colors on. It was quite a lip journey. I ended up putting on BFF and then topping it off with both of my lovely About Face Light Lock lip glosses. And these are in the shades Please Obey and Such Great Heights. I still don't know if I love the lip combo, but I'm done with figuring it out or trying. <laughs> I feel like I have done my best that I possibly can. Now, back to this palette. I am so incredibly impressed. Look at how fun this eye is. And when I look at this palette, I'm like, this is what I did with this. Honestly, this shade down here is the palette saving grace of everything. I would probably pay $16 just for this one shadow. It is that pretty. It has that much dimension. It is just that shiny and fun. It has this really nice, beautiful green reflect, but what even on my eye, I feel like I saw almost hints of blue. I think it would be really pretty to play with that shade with some blue and just kind of see what comes out. But I just really adore using the shade, especially with these greens. But this shade and this darker kind of matte brown is so, so nice as well because it has that plummy undertone and really can bring out a pretty purple look to this palette. But then you also have such nice warm tones, like the other look that I did today, really pumped it up with a little bit of this orange in the crease along with this, pop those on the lid, easy, simple kind of sunset looking eye. You could do something really basic, just using like this trio up here and getting something really neutral. I just actually think this is a much more versatile palette than people maybe are able to see when they look at it. I was really impressed. This shade down here also I would love to kind of do a green look with and kind of use this shade because it has 
just interesting hits of gold and green in it. Really, really pretty. I am very, very impressed. I definitely think if you are interested or like kind of what's going on here or any of my other two looks, I definitely think it is worth your $16 to get it. And you would be right over the shipping price if you are buying it from e.l.f. Uh, so yeah, if you like it or if you think you'd like it, I suggest getting it. It's not maybe the easiest uh, shadows to work with when it comes to the mattes, but they certainly work. You may just have to give them a little bit more time. Also, the shimmers sometimes are a little bit flaky, but I used a glitter glue. I did not even wet the shadow and I got all this beautiful shine and shimmer. So, you know, sometimes you really can be surprised, especially with interesting collabs like this, what can happen. All right, everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, wherever you are and whatever you may be doing, I hope you're able to do something you love every single day. Thanks again for being here, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.